Hello and welcome to Tenable, a show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the top ten phobias and you said dentists, you'd clearly know the drill. But if you said masseurs, you'd be rubbing me up the wrong way. The more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's Greeks of Nature. Hello, Greeks of Nature. Tell me about the team name. So, Warwick, we're a family team and we are Greeks at Priya. Fantastic. OK, will you be Greek gods or Greek tragedies? <laughs> Let's find out as we play Tenable. <laughs> OK, Greeks of Nature, it's time to release the first question. Top ten white wine countries at Majestic. So, Mario, who's the right person for this one? Um, let's go for Uncle Tony for this one. Work. All right, then, Tony, it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Hi, Welcome Warwick. to the game. Thank you. So what do you do for a living, Tony? I'm a chauffeur. Are you? I've got a chauffeur, of course, being Warwick Davis. <laughs> also got a butler, security guard, loads of money <laughs> and a massive car. <laughs> <laughs> And told your family loves a barbecue. They do indeed. What sort of things do you cook? We have like what we call like a it's a chef dal, it's a Greek sausage, which is uh, combined with different herbs and so on, which is quite mm. nice. Sounds lovely. When we have people round, my wife's always trying to tear me away from my Barbie. Man, I love dressing up that dolly. <laughs> 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 okay, Tony, here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put one thousand pounds into your prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Tony, you have one life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that and you're out of the game. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Also, your nephew Mario can overrule one of your answers. So, are you ready to play Tenable? I am indeed. Good. So, here's your question again. Top ten white wine countries at Majestic. And I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the 10 countries that have the most different white wines listed on majestic.co.uk. This is as of the 4th of January, 2022. Is that clear? Good. So, uh, what's your first answer? My first answer would be France. Let's have a look. Is France tenable? That is Ben Arbor. Well done, Tony. Thank you. So, I will go with Australia. All right, let's have a look. Is Australia tenable? <laughs> there it is. A cracking answer, mate. Well done, Tony. Thank so, are you, you partial to a white wine? I am indeed. Lovely. So, uh, what's your next answer? My next answer will be South Africa, Warwick. OK, let's see. Is South Africa tenable? <laughs> yeah, there it is. So, 48 wines listed from South Africa. OK, what's your next answer? My next answer will be Spain. Is Spain tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is, that's tenable. There are 27 different Spanish wines stocked by Majestic. So look at that, you've got four correct answers on the board. You're one away from £1,000 and guaranteeing your place in the final. You've got three nominates and this is your last chance to use one. And Mario can still overall. Plus you've got your life. So things going very well. I think I'd like to go with Italy. So, for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Italy our fifth tenable answer? <laughs> Thank you. So, that marvellous melody means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Plus, we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Tony. Thank now, you, you can stop here if you wish, 
but there are still five wines up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can continue. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500, but be warned, if you play on, you'll be on your own. You can't nominate anyone to help you, and your nephew's overall button has been deactivated. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. So what do you want to do? Play on? I'll play on. You might as well. I will say... Portugal. OK, let's have a look. For £2,500, is Portugal tenable? Tony, that was untenable, I'm afraid. So you've lost your life. So be careful. Another untenable answer means you'll be taking a sharp exit through the vortex and you'll lose the thousand pounds you've banked. I'll take the thousand pounds. You sure? 100%. Okay. We'll add the one thousand pounds to your prize fund and you'll be joining your nephew in the final. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal these missing answers. So, team over there, any ideas? Mario? Argentina. Yeah. Chile, Argentina. Argentina, Germany, UK. Okay, UK. Okay, let's see, shall we? Which country is behind number ten? It's Argentina. Mario, well done. Number nine, that's Germany. Number seven is United States. Number six, Chile. Chile. And number two is New Zealand. Well, Tony, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations. Let's hear it for Tony. Thank you. <laughs> so, team, look at this. You've got £1,000 in your prize fund so far. But can you add to that? It's time to look at your next list. Ten people, places and things that have the initials RG. So, Mario, who's the best teammate for this one? I'll say Anthony. Anthony, it's time to play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Ant. Welcome to the game. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm OK, thank you. Good. So what do you do? I am a academy football coach. Are you? So you're quite fit, then? Not quite. That's why I coach and I don't <laughs> run around. <laughs> <laughs> now, I hear you love flying and have even had some model aeroplanes. Yeah, I've got a few models from where, you know, my family members or myself go away and we get models. Um, what scale are those? Not too big. They fit in my bedroom. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you know, I've got a model aeroplane. Tyra Banks is the pilot and Kate Moss hands out the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and let's get some green on this board. Here's your question again. Ten people, places and things that have the initials RG. I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will display ten clues about people and things that either have the initials RG in that order or are represented by the letters RG, also in that order. We're looking for the ten corresponding answers. Here are your ten clues. Colour associated with British motorsport. Olympic sport with dance-like routines. Edward Lewis in Pretty Woman. Co-creator of TV series The Office. Major river border between Mexico and US. French Open Tennis Stadium. Founded River Cafe with Ruth Rogers. Travel book series founded by Mark Ellingham. Ron Weasley and Harry Potter films. And Dutch footballer managed Chelsea from 1996. So how do you feel about that, Ant? Now I've seen that, I'm a bit more happy. OK, great stuff. Well, good luck. There are your ten clues. Let's get your first answer on the board. Cool. So I will start with Ron Weasley in Harry Potter films, Rupert Grint. Fabulous. Let's have a look. Is Rupert Grint our first tenable answer? <laughs> yeah, there he is, Rupert Grint. Well done. Obviously, Rupert Grint is in the movie. Anyone else you know? Um, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Robbie Coltrane. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> okay, we got there eventually, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, Anne. Let's carry on playing, shall we? Um, I will go for co-creator of TV series The Office, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say Ricky Gervais. All right, let's have a look. Is Ricky Gervais tenable? <laughs> yeah, 
There he is. Well played, Anne. Okay, what's your next answer? Let's go for Dutch footballer, Rud Hullet. Is Rud Hullet tenable? <laughs> there he is. Well done, Anne. What's next? I'm going to go for um, French Open Tennis Stadium, and I'm going to say Roland Garros. OK, let's see. Is Roland Garros tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. And this is going very well. You've got four correct answers on the board. Yep. You're now one away from £1,000 and guaranteeing that place in the final. Still got your life plus three nominates, but this is your last chance to nominate in your game. I'm going to use a nominate. Who would you like to nominate? I'm going to nominate Mario. Mario, Ant needs your help. Have you got an answer for him? I think I do, Warwick. Edward Lewis in Pretty Woman, I believe, is Richard Gere. OK. So Mario thinks Richard Gere. What do you think? You don't have to take that answer. I also think Richard Gere. You do? You trust him? <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, let's see, shall we? For yep. £1,000 and a place in the final, is Richard Gere our fifth tenable answer? That triumphant tingling means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. We'll also add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Ant. Thank you. And well done, Mario. Good use of the nominate there. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers left to reveal. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But if you carry on, you'll be on your own. Yep. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. Um, I'll carry on, please. OK. Um, colour associated with British motorsport. I'm going to say red and green. Okay, let's see. For £2,500, is red and green tenable? <laughs> oh, man, that was untenable. So you've lost your life. Be very careful. Yep. The other incorrect answer means you'll lose the money you've banked and you'll leave the game. Um, I'm going to bank the money. You sure? Yep, sure. OK. We'll add the £1,000 to your prize fund and you're guaranteed a place in the final with your cousin Mario. Now, before you sit down, though, let's reveal these answers. The travel book series founded by Mark Ellingham, that is... The Rough Guide. Founded River Cafe with Ruth Rogers, Rose Gray. The major river border between Mexico and US. Rio Grande. Olympic sport with dance-like routines. Rhythmic gymnastics. Colour associated with British motorsport. That's racing green. You've added £1,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £2,000. And your return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Ant. Well played. Thank you. After the break, the next member of Greeks of Nature tries to top up that pot. Back in a tad, it's going to be rad. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where Greeks of Nature have been taking on some Towers of Ten. Tony and Ant have made it through to the final, and they have banked £2,000. Let's get straight on with our next Tower of Ten. The first ten US states alphabetically with six or fewer letters. So, Mario, who's the right person for this one? Let's give Peter a chance, Warwick. Shall we? <sighs> All right, then, Peter, please join me to play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Welcome to the game. Thanks, Warwick. How are you? Very well, thanks for asking. So, what do you do? Uh, I run a fish and chip shop. Do you? Yeah. Is that fun? It's, yeah, it's, it's OK. It's a good job. It's a good laugh. Fabulous. Do you ever have to peel the potatoes? Uh, yeah, every single day. It's... Every single day? Yeah. You know, I got fired from a job chopping potatoes for being too messy. 
the chef had a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told you're part of the top 1%. What's that mean? Well, about 10 years ago, I sat a test for Mensa. Oh. Um, I wouldn't say it was any ambition of mine as such, but there was um, a quiz I did. Got the uh, results a couple of weeks later and got myself a nice plaque which sits proudly on the uh, mantelpiece. Fabulous. OK, Peter, time to topple your tumble tower. Here's your question again. The first ten US states alphabetically with six or fewer letters. I'll just clarify this for you. In an alphabetical list of the usual short-form names of the 50 US states, we're looking for the first ten that have six or fewer letters. So is that clear? Yes, it is, yeah. Good. Well, best of luck with this. Thank you. Let's get your first answer on the board. Um, Alaska. Is Alaska our first tenable answer? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well done. Now I'm a bit stuck. Now you're stuck. <laughs> uh... Ohio? Ohio. Is Ohio tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. So, feel better now? Not really. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> um, I'm trying to spell them out as well. Hey. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, I've got one. Probably my favourite state I've visited. Um, mm -hmm. Been a few times to Las Vegas, so we'll go with Nevada. OK, let's have a look. Is Nevada tenable? <laughs> yep. Well played, Peter. So you're feeling better now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember um, those nominates? OK, just to get me out of a bit of a pickle for now, I'll, I'll use one of them. Who would you like to nominate? I'll go with Mario. Mario. So the answer I'm going to go for is Hawaii. So Mario thinks Hawaii. Yeah. What do you think, Peter? Yeah, no, definitely Hawaii. You trust him? Yeah. OK, let's go for it then, shall we? Is Hawaii tenable? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, Mario. <laughs> Excellent work. Um. So I'm trying to figure out how a Mensa man thinks. What's your thought process now? Are you imagining the map? Yeah, I'm literally going round the map, and everything I can think of is more than six letters, except I've got, I've got two in my head, but they're both low down in the alphabet. Remember, you've still got your life. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK, we'll, we'll go with Texas. OK, let's have a look. For £1,000 and a place in the final, is Texas tenable? Yes, that symphonic <laughs> sound means you've got five tenable answers Good. and you want a place in the final. We'll also add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Peter. Thank you. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five states up there left to reveal. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. Um, well, I'll, I'll mm. go on as well. Um, Georgia. OK, let's see. For £2,500, is Georgia tenable? <laughs> now that's untenable. So, Mensa Man, Georgia has seven letters. Oh, yeah, looking of course for six. it does. I went for it before. Um, okay, so you've lost your life. Be careful, oh, Peter. Yeah. No, I've gone blank. I'm going to have to take the money. We'll bank the money. Get right, the final. We'll add the £1,000 to your prize fund and you're guaranteed a place in the final with your brother Mario. Before we sit down, though, let's reveal these missing states. What's behind number nine? It's Oregon. Number six. Maine. Number five. Kansas. Mm -hmm. Number four. It's Iowa. Number three. Idaho. There they are, Peter. Yeah, it's easy when you can see them. But you did very well. You've added £1,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £3,000. And you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Peter. Well played. Yeah, thank you.
We have one last list before Captain Mario faces his tower ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £3,000, but can they add to that pot? Now, Mary, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person for this one. Come I'm and play sorry. Tenable. <laughs> so, Mary, welcome to the game. Thank you. So, what do you do for work? I work in a production doing uh, manufacturing vanes. Oh, fantastic. Now, I've been told you've been in your job for 30 years. I have and hoping to retire next year, if I win lots of money here. Now, I hear you're a big fan of seafood. Yes. Lobster, crab. Like a bit of lobster. Scallops, prawns. Yeah, Anything that comes out of the sea. Yeah, that's what seafood normally is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife and I shared a seafood platter, but she only left me with one tiny prawn. It was a little shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mary, let's capture some cash. Here's your question. The last ten winners of I'm a Celebrity. I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the ten most recent people to be crowned the winner of the UK version of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. This is as of the end of December 2021. So, is that clear? Yes. Well, best of luck with this, Mary. Thank you. When you're ready, let's get your answer on the board. All right. My first one would be... Harry Redknapp. Is Harry Redknapp tenable? <laughs> yep, there he is. He won in 2018. Well done, Mary. My next one, Scarlet Moffat, I think. Let's have a look. Is Scarlet Moffat tenable? There she is, having won in 2016. Well done, Mary, you're doing well. Thank you. I think I've got another one. Good. Joe Swoosh. Let's have a look. Is Joe Swoosh tenable? <laughs> oh, no, I'm afraid that was untenable. Joe Swoosh was a winner, but too long ago to make this list. OK. He won in 2008. So you've lost your life, Mary. All right. Don't I'm forget, gonna... you've got the nominate. Yes, I will nominate Ant. Ant, can you help Mary with an answer here? Yep. Um, I will go for Giovanna Fletcher. OK, so that's what Ant thinks. Do you agree with him? I agree with him. Let's have a look. To keep you in the game, is Giovanna Fletcher tenable? Yep, she won in 2020. Well done, Ant. Thank you. I might have one, but I can't remember her surname. It's Beverly someone. Oh, I've just gone blank. Beverly... Beverly Cohart. Let's have a look. So that sound means your captain has hit the overall button, or as we're calling it today, the this creaks up the creak button. <laughs> Mario, you don't like the sound of her answer. I think it's a guess, Warwick, so I haven't got much better, but maybe Stacey Solomon. OK. Well, Mary, before we see whether your captain was right to overall, we have to see whether your answer is up there. We're hoping it's not. You said... Beverly Cotart. Let's have a look. Is Beverly Cohart tenable? We're hoping not. Great, that's untenable. So, Mario, we now have to see whether your answer is up there. What was your answer again? So, it was Stacey Solomon. Right there, Mary, to keep you in the game. Is Stacey Solomon tenable? Untenable. Oh, Mario, unlucky. Stacey Solomon won in 2010. 
so too far back to be on this list. So, Mary, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund or secured a place in the final. Bad luck. Now, before we say goodbye, though, let's reveal these missing answers. Ant, any ideas? I've got three. Let's have one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you um, Cole Fogarty. OK. What about you, Peter? Emily Atak. Tony. No. He doesn't care, does he? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ant, what are your other two? Um, Georgia... Toffolo, I think that's how you pronounce the surname, made in Chelsea. And most recent was Danny Miller. Oh, of course. Right, let's have a look. Oh, Mary, they ring bells, don't yes, they? Yes, Emmerdale. So, number ten. Who is that? Charlie Brooks. Number nine is... It's Kian Egan. Number eight. It's Carl Fogarty. Well done, Ant. Thank you. Number seven. Vicky Patterson. Number five. Georgia Toffolo, you got that one, Ant. Yep. Number three is Jacqueline Josser. Number one, Danny Miller. And you got that one too. Well done. Yep. Well, Mary, it saddens me to say you're terrible at Tenable. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Off she goes into the vortex, which I was guessing about the other day when my best pal Harrison Ford from Star Wars. Have I mentioned I was in Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Captain Mario faces his list. Brew, Lou, back in a few. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where Greeks of nature have been battling some bogus game boards. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their £3,000 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper, Mario, to take on the tower. Now, Mario, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final. But this is your chance to get your team in the best possible shape before you play for the jackpot. Are you up to it? I am work. Mario, come and play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Captain Mario. Hello, work. So how do you think the team has played so far? It's been a mixed performance, so so. Anyone you're particularly disappointed with? I think Uncle Tony should have got a few more there. I was giving me that question. Oh, Uncle Tony. I agree. <laughs> he agrees. So what do you get up to, Mario? I am a detective for the Metropolitan Police work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think makes you good at it? I'm saying you're good. Are you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm a very good interviewer. It's my favourite part of the job. So interview me now. I'm in your interrogation room. So, Warwick, you've been interviewing now for 45 minutes and you've just been telling me a pack of lies. How about you tell me the truth? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Warwick, you understand what that means? Courts might be less likely to believe you if you get charged later on. Now's Ooh. your opportunity. Next question. Are you guilty, Warwick? Of course I'm not. I'm Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm guilty of is being a fabulous film star. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> right now, it's time for some answers. Let's make them super, Mario. <laughs> Here's how the game works. Just like the previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, you'll have a decision to make. Whether to take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forego the cash to win back Auntie Mary. Now, she's waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot. But first, you've got to win her back. You've got a life, but your team have left you with no nominates. So, are you ready to play Tenable? I am, Warwick. Good. Here's your question. Ten Brad Pitt films by character. So, I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will show the names of ten characters played by Brad Pitt in a feature film and the year in which the film was released. We're looking for the titles of the ten corresponding films. Here are your ten clues. Tyler Durden. Lieutenant Aldo Rain. Billy Bean. John Smith. Rusty Ryan, Cliff Booth, Detective David Mills, Mickey O'Neill, JD, and Achilles. OK, so there are the ten Brad Pitt characters. Let's get your first film title on the board. So the first one I'll go with, Warwick, is Fight Club. Is Fight Club tenable? Yep, 
there it is. Well done, Mario. All right, what's your next answer, Mario? Um, I'm going to go for Ocean's Eleven. Is Ocean's Eleven tenable? Yep, there it is. OK, so what do you got next, Mario? Right, this one I, I should obviously get, being our Greek Cypriot background. So Achilles is um, Troy. Is Troy tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Mario. Good work. So this is going very well. I think I've got enough of at least one more, so... OK, so what's that one? So I'm pretty sure John Smith is in the movie Mr and Mrs Smith with Angelina Jolie. Let's have a look. Mr and Mrs Smith, is that Hannibal? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. So, Mario, one away from £1,000 or the chance to bring back Auntie Mary. Pretty sure he's up there. He's one of the more recent movies he's done. Mm -hmm. Inglorious Bastards. For £1,000 or the chance to bring back Auntie Mary. Is Inglorious Bastards tenable? Well done. So those tip-top tones means you've got five tenable answers. Well done, Mario. But now you've got to decide. Do you want £1,000 for your prize fund, or would you like to win back Auntie Mary? Now we came as a team, Warwick, so I'm going to bring back Auntie Mary, and we'll give it a shot as a team in the final round. OK, congratulations. You're bringing back Auntie Mary. That's all of your team in the final now. Now, as always, you can play on. Another correct answer will put £1,000 into your prize fund. And you've still got your life. Um, this is where I'm struggling. I mean, I feel like I should know Detective David Mills, but nothing's coming to me. Um, I know this isn't right, um, but I just can't think of any movies. Blood Diamond. We're going for Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond. For £1,000. Is Blood Diamond tenable? No, that was untenable. Oh, yeah, Mario. I don't think it was right. You've lost your life now. So be careful. Another incorrect answer means you'll lose Auntie Mary once again. No work. I've got no more answers that I'm confident of, so I'll bank Auntie Mary and we'll have the whole team in the final round. OK. Well, Mario, before you sit down, let's reveal these remaining answers, shall we? So JD was in Thelma and Louise. Mickey O'Neill, character from... Snatch. Detective David Mills was in... Seven. Cliff Booth. He was in... Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Billy Bean, a character from... Moneyball. Well, Mario, you failed to add any money to the prize fund, but you did manage to bring back Auntie Mary, which means all of your team will be playing for the grand total of... £3,000. Let's hear it for Mario. After the break, Greeks of Nature face their final board in a bid to win their Wonga. One to play, don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where Greeks of Nature have all their players in the final and are playing for the lovely sum of £3,000. Well played, team. So, Mary, your nephew managed to bring you back into the game. How does it feel to be playing in the final? Great. If we get through, then it'd be even better. Fabulous. OK, well, good luck, Mary. Thank you. Well, Greeks of Nature, to take home that prize, this time you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect 10. Get 10 out of 10 and you'll be walking away with that £3,000. Well, Greeks of Nature, it's time to face your final Tower of 10. <laughs> For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Pop lyrics, FA Cup final. Pop so, team, what do you like the look of? Pop lyrics. <laughs> Pop lyrics? <laughs> no, we know what we're going for, Warwick. 100%. It's, be... it's FA Cup final. 
you're going for FA Cup final. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. Let's reveal your final list of ten, worth £3,000. The last ten non-London teams to win the FA Cup. OK, I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the last ten different clubs to win the men's FA Cup competition that are located outside of London. To be clear, by outside of London, we mean any team that has a home stadium outside of the M25, London's orbital motorway. This is as of December 2021. So, Manio, is that clear? It is. Good. Please take your position. Now, when you're ready, give us your answer. Liverpool. Is Liverpool tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done, Mario. Tony, please step forward. So, Tony, raring to go. I oh, am. Yeah. Do you like the question? I do. Good. Let's get your answer, then. Manchester United. Is Manchester United tenable? <laughs> yeah, there it is. They last won in 2016. Well done, Tony. Thank you. And please step forward. So, and you're a football coach. Yes. So you should do quite well on this. Should do. Um, I'm going to say Wigan Athletic. Is Wigan Athletic tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well done, Ant. Thank you. They won their first FA Cup in 2013. Thank you. Peter, you're up next. OK, Mensa Man, what do you got? Leicester City. Is Leicester City tenable? <laughs> yeah, there they are. Won their first FA Cup in 2021. Well done, Peter. Auntie Mary, please step forward. How do you feel about this question, Mary? I know one. That's, that's a start. Yeah. <laughs> right, then, what is that one? Manchester City. Is Manchester City tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Auntie Mary. Good work. County Mario, please step forward. This is going well. Five out of five so far. Aston Villa. Is Aston Villa tenable? <laughs> oh, Mario, that was untenable. So, Captain, we have to say goodbye to you. Tony, please get forward. So, how do you feel, Tony? Your captain's gone. Slight pressure involved. Blackburn Rovers. OK, let's have a look. Is Blackburn Rovers tenable? <laughs> that was untenable, I'm afraid. So we have to say goodbye to you, Tony. Thank you. Thanks for playing. Ant, please step forward. So, Ant, your team's dropping like flies now. Yeah, I could be next. You're the football man. Yeah, but with the non-London situation, it's a bit more difficult. Is it? Um, I'm going to say Portsmouth. Is Portsmouth tenable? Yes, it is. Well done, Ant. Thank you. Peter, please step forward. So, Peter, do you like football? I do like football. And when the question came up, I thought, this is easy peasy, but it's not. <laughs> when you take out the London clubs, it makes it more tricky. 
Um, I, know, I know they won the FA Cup, I think it was in 95. I don't know if that's... I'm going to go with Everton. Is Everton tenable? Yeah, there they are. So their last one in 1995, like you said. Auntie Mary, you're up next. So you said you had one answer and you gave that and it was correct. I gave correct. it and I had another one, but my son said it. Oh, the rascal. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to have a, a guess. Southampton. OK, let's see. Is Southampton tenable? Yep, they first won in 1976. Well done, Mary. OK, and look at this. You're doing quite well. Yep. You've got eight correct answers, two away from £3,000 and the perfect ten. I'm going to go up north again. Mm. And I'm going to have a stab in the dark at Newcastle. Is Newcastle tenable? No, that's untenable, I'm afraid. So, Ant, we have to say goodbye to you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, please step forward. So, the football man's gone, but we've still got <laughs> Mensa Man. <laughs> this might be completely wrong, but something tells me Ipswich. OK, let's see. Is Ipswich tenable? Yes, it is. Well played. Auntie Mary, it's your turn again. So, Mary, you were brought back from the vortex. One answer to find. Can you be the player to give it? I hope so, but I don't think so. I'm just going to have a stab in the dark. Sheffield Wednesday. So, for a perfect ten and £3,000, is Sheffield Wednesday our final tenable answer? Auntie Mary, that was untenable. So, so I'm goes. afraid, once again, we say goodbye to you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, please join me. So it's all come down to this. It's you, me, the Tenable Tower, and that one missing answer. I'm just trying to think of when I've seen old footage of the FA Cup finals, some obscure teams, Coventry rings a bell. Nottingham Forest, but the one that keeps sticking out in my head is Leeds. But I just, oh, I'm trying to think of other teams. Um, I don't know why Coventry stands out. Um, Coventry sticks in my head, so I'm going to go that. Coventry City. So that's your final answer? Final answer, Coventry All City. Right. So for a perfect 10 and 3,000 pounds, is Coventry City our final tenable answer? <laughs> well, I'm Peter, you <laughs> did it. That's a perfect ten, which means you go home with a prize fund of £3,000. Well played. Oh, brilliant. Well done. How do you feel, Peter? <laughs> Ecstatic. There was just something there that just said Coventry. I don't know why. Well, you did very well. So what are you going to do with your share of the money? It'll go towards a holiday for family. And that's lovely. That'll be great cool. stuff. We'll enjoy that. Yeah, brilliant. You've been a great team to have on today. Such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. It's been a pleasure to meet you as well, Warwick. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. So there you have it. These Greeks of nature were freaks of Tenable and head home with the cash. Well played, team. Join us next time when five more contestants play Tenable. Goodbye. <laughs>